Before I was a tarantula guy, I was a snake guy. So yeah, I've got a, a water moccasin that I picked up from a friend and uh, no, it's not a pet. She called me up and ironically, it was during a uh, live stream. Uh, I was on the uh, tarantula tuber Saturday night takeaway and I was in the middle of streaming with them. This was after everything had happened and Petco had left and everything. So um, <laughs> I got this phone call and I did it right there live on the live stream. And uh, a friend of mine, former co-worker, asked me if I could come over and get rid of this effing snake because it had gotten in her pool and it was terrifying her cats along with them as well her and her husband oh she's calling me <laughs> <laughs> do you need to go alex and hello? that's fine no i'm, I'm good <laughs> hello yes. hello <laughs> hey how you oh, doing cynthia Do you can you can you get a, a picture of it or anything? Oh, how can I send you a picture? <laughs> <laughs> on the phone? I have it on my phone. I have it on my phone. I'm on my laptop. We we have oh, quite a few okay. people here that you will be able to help you. You want me to come by and take a look at it? Well, well, can, can, you, can you give me a number and I can send you a text? To yeah, you yeah, my phone number. Oh. Um, you texted me. No, you didn't. Oh, you don't. <laughs> Okay, I'll 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 give you my phone number. I'll text it to you, or I'll message you here. Yes. Oh bless her, she sounds so panicked. Yeah, but she needs to calm down. She's not gonna hit her in the garden. It's a snake. Okay, if it's if it's a venomous one, I'll come take care of it. Um, yeah, I get calls like that all the time because I was known for having snakes. I still have snakes. And anytime there was a venomous snake, um, people would call me to come get it and remove it. And I usually relocate them. Um, so yeah, I chose this spot because it's a little bit secluded. There's a water source behind me. So a perfect place for a water moccasin. And uh, I'm just going to release it and let it go on its way. Good, it's okay. Okay, so I'm kind of guiding it in the proper location. It's heading back toward the road, and I don't want it to go to the road, so that's why I am making sure it goes toward the water. Kind of interesting, venomous snakes will rattle their tail, just like a rattlesnake. This is a viper, a pit viper, so they're in the same family, so they kind of do the same thing. That is the uh, signature cotton mouth, which is why they call it that when they open their mouth like that. The inside of their mouth is white. All right, so let's see if we can get it to go in the right direction. Come on, buddy. All right, he should find his way because we're right next to the water. 
So uh, yeah, people ask me if I was a golfer. No, I actually found that putter <laughs> and I use it as a snake hook. I left my actual snake hook at school and uh, it's not very long, so not very good for uh, any kind of pit vipers or anything like that. So yeah, it, it doubles as a snake hook and it does a good job. So it's gone. See you later, bye. Boy, that was the longest intro ever. Uh, I just want to let you know that the snake uh, went off into the water and is probably much happier now. And um, I, I didn't handle the snake because um, honestly, I didn't want to put myself in a position where I might uh, get hurt. And um, it's not that I don't have experience with snakes and I have handled venomous snakes before. It's just that Anytime you handle a snake, you're just kind of tempting fate. And it's always the, the, the saying is, it's not a matter of if, but when. So yeah, that's just something that I don't want to even deal with right now. It's a whole lot easier dealing with venomous tarantulas. And speaking of tarantulas, I've got mail. Let's see what's in this box. Welcome to Tarantula Haven. And uh, I got this, you probably know, from the... Um, from the thumbnail for the video, but I guess it'd be better if I put it down instead of having you looking at this big old box. All right, so this box comes to me from Tarantula Cribs, and I would normally be wearing this shirt, but I think if I did, I'd be like, that guy in a little coat. I was very honored that Tarantula Cribs had contacted me. I had seen the video with Tarantula Cat and I'd seen the video with Richard of the Tarantula Collective and I was so jealous. I was like, oh, those are so nice. I wish I could get some of those. And of course, yeah, you know, if, if I made a little bit of money, I was gonna go order me some, but they contacted me and I was so ecstatic about that. And they said, you know, would you like us to send you some enclosures? And I said, yes. <laughs> Yeah, and I told them, you know, that I enjoyed the video with Tarantula Cat and I enjoyed the video of Tarantula Collective and uh, how much I enjoyed their, their enclosures and I would most definitely like to have some just to see what they're like because everything I've seen, they just look incredibly awesome. So let me shut up and let's get to it. I'm going to unbox those and show you what I got. All right, let's start out with the small one and see what's inside here. And uh, I was a little concerned when it came in because the outer box was kind of crushed. And, uh, you know, acrylic doesn't do well with shipping and crushing and so on. So I contacted them and I let them know. And I had to kind of open them up a little bit just to get a sneak peek and make sure that everything was okay. And it looked like everything was. So um, I'm pretty sure this one was just fine because there was absolutely not, nothing wrong with the box on the inside. And... Oh yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, very nice enclosure there. So these things are just absolutely awesome. I just did a podcast with Tarantula Collective. Uh, and I was talking to Richard and we were talking about these <laughs> enclosures because, you know, it, it seems like you've got all these different people that make enclosures, but they're not specifically for tarantulas or if they are, they're not correctly made. And these are people that took the idea of, you know, they keep tarantulas and they built and designed their enclosures around them. So they are very well made, awesome acrylic and they've got a nice solid white bottom there. And of course, I love their little logo there on the front, if you could see that. And the real cool thing about this is that locking lid. Uh, I just wanted to experience that for myself. Uh, the locking lid is magnetic. It's got the neodymium um, magnets on there. They're very, very strong. And if I close this, I can't even put it together right. There we go. And if I close this like that, and it just should snap in nice and neat. 
Oh, that sound. But that's that's just the thing about these things is they're so awesome because the lid locks. And one of the things we talked about is that uh, sometimes we've closed enclosures and not closed them properly. I know I've been guilty of that with some of the uh, exoterras and uh, some other ones where I go to snap the lid and I don't do a good job of it and I run the risk of having a tarantula escape. Um, fortunately, I've never had that happen, but with these, you don't really have that chance because as long as you are sliding this thing closed and you get those magnets close enough, <laughs> and you know that they have locked tight and they're good to go. So that is the awesome feature about these enclosures. So I'm gonna unpack the other one and we'll get going as to what we're gonna put in here. All right, let's see what we have in here. Much bigger box. These things are very well packed. Not a scratch on them. All right, and there we go. So this is a larger version of this one and I'm already thinking about who I'm gonna put in here. And these boxes are showcase boxes. They're show pieces. They're, they're beautiful in themselves. So you wanna, you know, this is a good chance or a good opportunity to display a, a tarantula, to put a nice, beautiful display tarantula in here that's out all the time so that you can see it and appreciate it inside of these enclosures. So there we go. This is the nice bigger one. Um, I have to find out the measurements on them so I can give that to you, but they got the same sliding top lid and that same locking mechanism. Oh yeah. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and figure out who I'm going to put in here and uh, maybe shoot some B-roll of these uh, tarantula enclosures. Thank you so much, tarantula cribs. And one thing that they told me, um, <laughs> they sent me a 1X shirt, but I'm a big boy and I wear a 2X. So they told me that on another shipment, they were going to send me the 2X shirt. So this one's probably going to go to my daughter because she likes wearing shirts, big shirts as a night shirt or just kind of hanging around shirt. And um, yeah, so uh, they're going to send me some more stuff. And right now they said that they're a little bit low on their supplies, but they are in the process of getting more. Uh, they're, they're getting restocked and they should have a lot more um, this coming week. So just to let you know, things are <laughs> the way they are. They've been a little bit low on stock, but they are getting some more in. They've just gotten a small shipment in and the rest should come in next week. For the smaller enclosure, I decided that I wanted to put my Grandma Stola Pulchra in it. She recently molted. She's very skittish. And um, she's got that nice deep black color on her. The, <laughs> oh look at her digging. The difference in her enclosure size is not really all that big, but she's been very slow growing and um, she's probably not gonna outgrow this anytime soon. But when she does, then I will pass it on to a smaller tarantula and move her to a bigger enclosure. 
So let's see if I can do this safely without hurting her because she is very skittish. All she wants to do is bury herself. All right, there we go. Come on. You want to go up? She does not. You were so close. Come on. There we go. There you go. Tickle, tickle. All right. So there she is in her new enclosure. And I hope she likes. And this way I'll get to see her a lot more and she will be out on display. And for the larger enclosure, I am rehousing my Brachypelma Hamori. And this is my female, so she is pretty special to me, so she will be my showcase species. And she's a big hair flicker, so I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna spook her too bad. There we go, there's the hair flicking. Come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, quit the hair flicking. I'm gonna be itchy later. Come on, girl. There you go. Come on over. Ah, quit flicking here. All right. Whoops. A little uncomfortable there. She didn't like that. Come on down. Quit with the hair flicking. And she is a gorgeous girl. This really is a beautiful enclosure to be showcasing your species. I'll probably decorate it a little bit better, but right now I'm just leaving it kind of bare bones. I didn't put too much substrate in there because she, frankly, she doesn't do a whole lot of digging. She is a pet rock and she sits out on top. Always on display. All right, tarantula lovers, aren't they beautiful? Thank you so much to Tarantula Cribs for sending me some products to showcase. Uh, I am honored that you asked me to do this. They are definitely beautiful and they are well worth it. If you are looking to get some of your own, don't forget to visit tarantulacribs.com. They have all kinds of different sizes and they also do custom order and laser engraving on these things. So if you are looking for something custom and special for your tarantula, then they are definitely worth the look because doesn't your gorgeous tarantula deserve a gorgeous enclosure in which to display it? So definitely check them out. I am sold and I will most likely be getting more tarantula cribs enclosures for my other tarantulas because these things are just absolutely awesome. And that wraps it up for me tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support this channel, I have a Teespring store where I sell Tarantula Haven merchandise. Any of the proceeds will go directly to help grow and support this channel. Until next time, keep loving them tarantulas and tarantula cribs. <laughs>